Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So, last time I said I would make a character off screen, and here she is. We did the trap starter um, scenario thing. So, we have pretty good stats, really. Our intelligence is a bit lower than I would like, but large build. Senses aren't great, but good speed, good agility, passable dexterity, high endurance, and really high strength. And yeah, I haven't actually done anything with this character yet, as you can see. He's still just in the middle of the woods. Oh, I shouldn't. So we started up north near the Sertola and Seal tribes. We're like dead center between them. So I think I'm going to try to move a little bit south towards the Sertola. Now, because... So I actually started with two axes and a hunting knife. That's weird. I don't think I've ever started with two axes before. We also have a loop snare and a fox trap and a shovel. And some wooden stakes to build fences with or build a spiked pit trap, whichever, will be more useful, really. Okay, yes to that. Those are actually pretty good. Um, I don't have a ranged weapon, though. So I'm just going to throw an axe at it. And yeah, it's flying away, so I'm probably never going to catch it. But I'll equip the axe anyway, and yeah, it's way faster than I am. We are pretty fast, though. So there's that. You may have noticed that we didn't get that pop-up thing. It's because I didn't select a game course yet. So we're just on the sort of default one. Okay, well there's a hunter. I don't want to fuck with him just now. It's a very tiny water source. So I'd like to be on a river or lake or something now. Because later on those become very useful for, like... Just sort of traveling. You can get water vehicles and travel pretty quickly over the water. I don't see any mountains or anything either, which is kind of annoying because they help look around a bit. This place is pretty wide open now, which I like. It means hunting big game won't be as difficult. But before I can hunt anything, I need to find some place to stay. Guess there's no large bodies of water around. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a bear. I don't know how well it went last time I tried to fight a bear. Ah, here we go. I want to be up in the woods, so, so, right here. Okay, so, I think this will be our base camp for now. I'll build right near the water. So yeah, you can see with an axe to work with, it's a lot easier. To cut down these trees. And yeah, I know I'm hungry. I'm stalling intentionally on eating. I'm trying to 
not be as stupid as I was last time about everything, basically. E, C, left. Okay. That should be enough to make build shelter. Yep. So here we have a nice little house to sleep in. And I'm gonna Okay, we have really nice clothes actually, but that's about all we have. So make lumber staff one. Make weapon javelin one. Don't have a right. I'm dumb. I think I can just make enough of a fire with these. So our survival skill isn't very good. I don't think I showed off our skills actually. Most of our skills are pretty bad actually. Our weapon skills are very good. And our dodging is great. So we could probably actually get lucky with that bear if we wanted to. But most of our skills are below 30. Except for building and ag agriculture. So it might take a few tries to get this fire. There we go. Okay, make weapon javelin one. Yes. There. It's probably gonna be, oh, it's decent. That's actually not bad. So I'm not sure what our best weapon skill is for melee. Uh, spear is not it. I think ax looks like it. No, club. Yeah, club is our best melee. Okay, so. Now I have a javelin, so I'm gonna try to fish. Our fire is already out, which is annoying. I don't think we caught anything. No. Our fishing isn't that good. It's 27, yeah. Our fishing is really bad. So I'm going to eat a stag cut. There we go. Where did I go? Apparently I'm in a tree. So is it aware of me? I don't know. Yes, I know it's an elk. I was wondering if it was aware of me or not. It's facing in my general direction. Well, I'm not gonna chase it because I need to set up like a more consistent food source before I do anything like that. So I think over here will be a good spot.
So R. Now, actually, first I need to. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll build it over here. So apply shovel to the left. What I'm doing here is I'm going to build a pit trap and some fencing. And hopefully what this will do is catch me some animals, larger ones. Okay, I'm out of stakes, so make lumber stake two. Yes. And I need to eat a little bit. Try not to eat too much. Okay, wake up from the cold, that's fine. So, as it is now, this pit won't mark this area on our map. And I'm going to lose it if I don't actually build the trap before I go get a drink, basically. Like, I could find this location again, but I'm very bad at finding things. So I'm just going to build the trap quickly and then go get a drink and come back and start working back on the fence. Yeah, let's drink from the natural water source and back up here. And we're getting close to frostbite territory, which is not good, but there's not much I can do about it right now. I could start a fire, that's about it. R, F, left. And basically the point of this fencing is just so that any animal that wants to come through this way at all will need to will run into the fences and ideally they'll run along the fence, see this apparent gap in the fence here if they don't notice it's a trap, and fall in. It's the basic premise. How well that works, well, it depends. Considering there is an elk wandering around here already, I'm somewhat confident that this will catch us something eventually. How soon eventually is, I have no idea, but if we survive for a few days, we should probably have something. Especially if I could manage to bait it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because I'm already running out of food. And yeah, it's small now. I'll expand it basically when I can. Ultimately you want like a really long fence. So that any animal that with multiple points of trapping so that any animal that wanders by has to pass through one of your traps if unless they turn back so right now I just want to fence this area off so it's difficult for anything to maneuver through No, it's R, F. I keep hitting the wrong buttons for some reason. I don't know why. I've been playing this game every day, pretty much. And I think I'll put another trap pit here. And hopefully, in a couple days before we starve to death, 
we'll have a elk or something in here. I did pick a direction I can say. Now I need to face a tree because that's something they changed in like the last couple versions actually. If you're facing a tree, it will automatically assume you want to cut down that tree rather than one in another direction that you can see. Which I find really annoying. I, I guess it cuts out some of the menu stuff, but... I don't really like it. Okay, starvation is lowering my performance. That's a problem. So yeah, these trees... I really need to get a proper mask. These trees here actually work as sort of a natural fencing. So the animal... Small animals like squirrels and stuff will run right over a pit trap anyway. But large things like elk or stag, they'll come up here, run into a tree, start moving around, try to find a path through, and they'll get the first path they'll find through if they come in from this direction is one of the traps. So they fall right in. Very handy. I'm using the regular pat traps instead of the ones with spikes because if you use the ones with spikes it automatically kills the animal for you. Which is good if you have like a bear or something. But dead animals will last a lot less time on the map if they're left alone. Okay, so got that done. Need to get some food. And I have the fisher's request for a catch. Good. So I'm gonna do that if the key will register. Okay. And then fish. Active. Javelin. And that increases our chances of getting a fish. It doesn't guarantee we'll get anything, but yeah, you see, we didn't get anything, but it helps. So, hopefully we'll get something. And we don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go to bed. Make... Lumber... Staff... I think I have three there. And up. Yeah, I'll sleep a little bit. And I need firewood. Preferably of a small tray. MF. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to try to make some staves and then go look for a village. Or not staves, job ones. I already have staves. Weapon three? Yeah. Three. Oh, I need to make the fire first. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to try to trade these javelins for some food. Even like bad quality javelins are worth a couple cuts of meat or something. So, as long as I can eventually get this fire started, which I don't think I can apparently. Come on. This is why having high survival is important, by the way. 
There we go. Weapon, javelin, three, yes. It'll take about an hour or two. Hour and a half-ish. That's fine. Three decent javelins. Okay. Well. Now, where are we on the map? I saw a hunter out this way. Which seems to indicate that there would be a town somewhere. Alright, towns are normally by water. I think they're always by water, actually, so... Checking around areas like this is good. Can I eat the rest of that piece of rye bread now? <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a vagabond town. Town, not towned. But I'm heading towards Okay, I need to sleep. But I'm heading towards, um, someone's territory. The... Sotola territory, I think? Yeah. So there should be towns in here somewhere. <coughs> These, um, rapids are actually... Uh, they're down here actually, but these rapid tiles are usually good for fishing. So, actually, I think I'm gonna try that. It's a new day, so I can try the ritual again. <laughs> and active fishing, javelin. They don't guarantee a catch as usual, but they help a little bit. <sighs> Nothing. Yeah, low fishing skill is basically just a good way to starve yourself to death. You end up spending hours for no actual meal. Um, too far north still. Need to go south. Alright, a mountain. How do you even zoom out then? Is it? Okay, here we go. Nothing. So, yeah, I figured out how to zoom out with my mouse pad. Normally, it's the, uh, the scroll wheel. So, I just need to use whatever my mouse pad's equivalent of a scroll, scroll wheel is. And yeah, I can't see anything when I do this either. But if it lets me see a bit further, it might help me find a town before I die. Which is definitely a concern. Ooh. You know what? Narrowly missed. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to be catching up to them. Unless... Oh wow, they're fast. Damn. 
I don't want to wade into the fucking water, they will just scare it away faster. And... Oh, I guess it doesn't notice me. Yeah, now it does. Yeah, it's definitely way faster than I am. It's not injured, because I didn't hit it. So I don't know why it's sticking around here so well. starving, so my physical skills are weakened. I don't think I can hit it in the leg, but I'm gonna try. Sell it hit. Stumbles and falls. Cool. How bad are you? It's walking lame. Ha. Cool. Don't really care about damaging your hide, I just want to kill you. I know that sounds terrible, but... I still heard it, but I didn't hurt it enough. <sighs> if I can actually kill this fucker. Now I'm starving. You know what, since I have this thing pretty much completely wounded, there we go. That should be the end of it. Edge attack to the skull. Alright. Skin the hide, it probably is going to be pretty bad, but I don't care. <laughs> because it's food. So happy we caught this thing. And we can carry all of its meat. Even better. Gonna make a fire. Try to make a fire. Okay. So cook, roast. Cook as many of them as I can for right now. In one, like, Setting. Sitting. And eat up. Oh, I didn't mean to eat the raw one. I'm gonna throw that up in a bit. It's not actually that bad. It just kinda sucks. And I can sleep. And yeah, that huge spike was me eating the raw meat, basically. I threw it back out. Alright, so most of th this meat is going to spoil. But it will last me a little while. So I'm gonna roast all of it. because I don't really have any way to preserve it. Um, it might be early enough in the season that I can preserve some of it, so... Why do I... Plus button... Done. There we go. I just need to wait for the rest of it to finish.
I don't want to touch the fat because I need that if I plan on tanning the hide at all. I do still want to find a town while I'm out here. Well, there's a town, but it's on the other side of the river. It's not exactly a town. I don't think building a raft would be worth my time. Let's see if I can come around on this side. Doesn't look like I can. We got some food at least, so this trip was definitely worth doing. Still getting hungry pretty quickly, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. I'm recovering from starvation a little bit at a time. Up. Why am I crawling? So yeah, I'm just exploring a bit. I know I walked past the camp. Still want to see if I can find a town or like a mountain or something. Okay, here's another large body of water, so there might be a town nearby. It's usually what I do. I'll just like wander around random directions until I find a body of water and look around there for a town. So. Doesn't look like there is one though. So yeah, that small like cottage we saw looks like the closest town for now. I'm gonna head back and see if I can do anything with this reindeer meat to preserve it a bit. Alright, southeast. Is that bear? Straight south from the bear. off some of my clothes for a bit. I'll make it out of my tunic. Right, so make utility cord maximum number out of my tunic. Yeah I know it sucks to like rip apart a masterwork tunic, but not that worried about it. I know my sleeping got a bit off. It's nice to not be starving to death. So, you know, cook, dry. And yes, it's still early enough in the season that I can preserve some of this meat at least. 
So it won't all go bad. A lot of it still will, but that like 25 cuts or whatever won't. Now to handle the skin, because I don't want to let this much hide go to waste. And use the fattest tanning material. So yeah, you just need to clean the hide, then tan it, and you need to go through the tanning process like three times. Each one is a little bit different, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. I want to check these traps now. It's been a couple days. Nothing and nothing. Okay. Well, can't say I was really expecting much, but I was hopeful. So I'm just going to try to expand the fence a little bit more. And then I think I'm going to be done with this fence area. And I'll probably start on another one, actually, once this one's done, because having a couple, like, areas with fence traps like this is usually a good idea. Because even when one fails, you'll often find that another one will work. I need to um, start working on getting some way to carry water around too. It's not that hard to do, but I'm focusing on getting food. It's what, five? There. I've been focusing so much on getting food that I've been sort of putting off doing some other things that I should do. Oh, and it will take like 20 something days for that dehydrated food to actually be done. It takes a long time, basically. <laughs> mm, I don't want to go too close to the bear. But I want to see if I can find its tracks. Okay, there should be bear tracks here, right? Okay, maybe my tracking is just too low to find them from the overworld. <sighs> That's not exactly great, but... Could be the case. I forgot to check my timer, so this episode might go long. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Set up here, yeah. Alright, All right, I have left. Actually, I might not be able to find branches out here, which is kind of annoying. Nope, I can. I think. We see left and yep, regular branches. Good. I actually carry this much? I can. Okay, that's faster then. 
No, I don't want to step into the water. Now, uh, survival cut there. Almost cut down the tree I wanted to cut down the branches for. And now I'll cut down the tree. All this over here so I can finish up this fence. Turn two of them into piles of stakes. <sighs> Drop the twigs, I don't need those. And I should be able to apply my shovel here, right? Oh no, it's marshland. Ooh. Didn't think of that. Okay, well, it's not actually that big of a deal. Can apply that loop snare here. That way, any like foxes or something that run by will get stuck in here. So it works out. And the water makes a nice, long, natural fence. I'll put the fox trap here. And I started with that fox trap. Actually, I think I can bait it with the leftover reindeer fat. Because I don't think the rain the foxes will be that picky about it. Okay, can I dig here? Because this looks yeah, this is pine mire. Nope, can't. Okay. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it works. And here's that bear. And the game's stopping to load something. There we go. It does that sometimes. Not entirely sure why, but I think it might just be checking to see if there's anything in the area like that you randomly encountered. Because I don't think it spawns things in like at World Gen, I think it spawns them in just sort of as you're wandering around. I'll sleep here. You can see me already. Now that I'll hit the trees. These berries will be ready in a few months. And that's mostly why I think the game recommends starting in summer. Because if you start in summer, a lot of those berries and stuff will already be ready for you. There we go. Playing southwest from there. I'll take a drink while I'm here.
Can I see that? Sorry, I'm, I have to play window to record. Okay, there it is. It can see me, but I can't see it. Wonderful. But yeah, to record, I need to play windowed. Ah, uh, it saw me. So, if I keep my mouse out of the window and I try to zoom out, it just switches virtual desktops on me, which is kind of annoying. Can I hide? No. Right over here, didn't I? There. Seems alert. How alert? There's no way in hell I'm gonna hit it from here. It's a small one. That's fine. And it's escaping. Into the woods. Wonderful. I know how well this went last time. <laughs> and yeah, I know the game doesn't look so great when it's zoomed out like this, but... It helps me see a little bit further. Actually, I can't see a damn thing, but... You can see, like, the general shapes of things. Why am I sneaking? I already lost it. There's no reason to go that slowly. What I can't see though is how old these are. Alright, there he is. Does he see me? Yeah. Sleeping. Shit. Yeah, he's way too far away. He saw me. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to hit with that. But I figured I couldn't get any closer without him waking up. Yeah, I'm nowhere near fast enough to run after it. Okay. Oh, looks like I'm walking. Looks fatigued. Okay, so it's already starting to get tired. What's my stealth skill, actually? Terrible. Okay. That explains quite a bit, actually. No, don't step into the water. I'm trying to chase after this thing. Not swim after it. So yeah, I don't think zooming out was in the previous version, which is the one I'm more like accustomed to. There you are. Ooh, you're looking tired. Yep, breathless. It's about as tired as it gets. Seven. Edge. Try to get in the leg. Dodge. Three, seven. Damn 
I want to get it in the leg. Because if I can get it in the leg, then it doesn't matter if it catches its breath. It's still not going to be able to run away. But I can't seem to hit it. Okay, I guess I'll hit it to its hind leg. And it's crippled. Good. Now you're not running away. <sighs> okay, that was a much more successful hunt than the one we tried last time. Hopefully I have enough time left in the season to actually dehydrate its entire, like, body, and that will give me meat for months, really. Like, it's a small one, so maybe not months, but it'll give me a lot of food. Okay, well, let's get it home quickly. Where is home? Okay, I'm going the right way. Cook, dry, and this is a weird little trick. The way um, tying up meat to dry it or smoke it works, it's more efficient to use groups of 19 than to just select all of it because it's kind of weird to explain, but if you use, like, say you're trying to tie 59 pieces of meat or something, or if you elect to use five cords, that five cords will you will hold 59 pieces of meat. But if you go one cord at a time, those five cords will hold, um, what, five times 10 is 50, five times nine is 45? Yeah, so it'll hold 50 plus 45 is 85, I think? Yeah, something like that. So you get a lot more meat per cord if you do it one cord at a time like this. It also takes significantly longer to, like, do, but whatever. Gonna... I need to take off my pants. I don't think I showed this screen, but this is like your armor coverage. This is warmth. It shows how warm your clothes are, how much you're protected against tearing attacks, edge attacks, and so on. Right now I'm mostly naked, so nothing is protected. But whatever works. Anyway, make utility cord. And, okay, I probably didn't need to take off my pants. It's a weird statement to say in a let's play. Whatever. I'll go with it. So yeah, I'm making cord out of my clothes to hang this. No wonder I'm cold, I'm not wearing clothes. Okay, so. I'm not sure if the north is actually colder or not. I don't know if the temperature is area dependent. Okay, so. See, dry. So this is another reason I like to start in spring, because you can't dry food in every season. You can only dry it in the very early spring and fall and late fall and throughout winter. So, and it's the best way to preserve food, because dried food lasts the longest. 
it can last like over a year, which is a really long time. So if we get some consistent food, this um, stag and reindeer meat could actually last all the way until winter, or all the way through winter. So it's definitely worth drying this food, even though it is a bit tedious. I know it's a bit tedious and boring to watch, but it can... it's definitely worth it. Just get as much of it as I can. And the quality of the core doesn't actually affect, like, the food that you get at the end of this at all. So, using fine cords is kind of a waste, but really I don't care because I'm at the point where I'm making cords out of my clothes, so quality of the cord and wasting it is not really an issue for me right now. I'm gonna wake up from the cold again, yeah. I need a fire. And once I start this fire, I'm actually going to cut the episode, because I think I've been recording for a while. And we've made quite a bit of progress. I'm just going to make a huge fire. But yeah, we did quite a bit here. And yeah, our reindeer are already spoiled. Which is not good. But we should be fine. You can actually survive off of spoiled food for a while. Which is, I guess, an exploit, but... Like I said I was going to cut the episode, right? <laughs> Sorry, I... I, don't know, I lose track of time when I'm playing this game. It's really fun. Hopefully, yeah, my fucking reindeer skin rotted. Shit. Oh well. That sucks. Because I was too busy hanging up the meat and stuff and wandering around. I spent too much time not working on it, so. I'm going to actually try to get this mostly done while I'm thinking about it. So in order to do that, I need a couple rocks to finish it, and I need a felled tree. I know I said I was going to end the episode, but I want to get this part out of the way first. Okay. And I'm going to eat the spoiled meat, which, as you notice, it brings up our nutrition level. And when we throw up, it'll probably go down a little bit. But, and it will fill up the hunger bar. But it's enough to keep you from starving, which is probably an exploit, but I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I guess it works in real life to an extent, but you'd get dehydrated from throwing up so much. Hmm. Not sure. Either way, you would get sick from it and probably die from that even if you didn't die from starving because you kept filling up your food. I don't know. I'm going to cut it here, though, before I go on that topic any further. Bye, guys!